Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to show you guys everything about batch. Batch sampling and batch imaging. I don't really have a better name for it, I just call it batch. Today I want to show you guys how to take a few images and run them through with a quick action and save them and all with batch. So a few weeks ago I did a tutorial about how to work with actions and physically create an action and today I want to do extend that action a little bit and show you guys what we did or how to work with this badge. Okay, so on the right hand side you currently see my original layer and you see the black and white folder which I will switch on now you will see this black and white conversion this is in no means a tutorial for black and white conversions or something it's just to show you guys how to work with batch and what we did with actions so no means for black and white okay so we've got the black and white folder here selected I'm gonna open it quickly and in here you will see that we had we duplicated the layer smart filters then hue saturation and we did the black and white conversion on that as well okay so I'm gonna minimize that go over to my action palette here at the top and directly you see the default actions my actions dodge and burn stuff okay and the kiki many photo actions that we did a few weeks ago so in here we've got our black and white conversion and you can see what we all did and we recorded that and saved that physically as an action okay I'm gonna minimize that again and now what I want to show you guys today is how to work with batch I do have this one image and I created the action and I ran this action on one image and I saved it and I'm happy with it. But now I still got like 10 or 20 or maybe say 100 images that I still need to do exactly the same conversion and I don't really want to pull each image into Photoshop and tell the action to work on it and save it and then yeah I have to do 100 images and that will take just a lot of lot of time to do that actions on each image so what you'll have to do is go to batch and with batch you can do a whole group and bring that into Photoshop run the action on all these images save them and you are done while the computer is working you don't need to do anything in this whole process so that's what I want to show you today and how to work with that okay so the first thing you will have to do is go to file and all the way down to automate and in automate batch here we go select batch and in batch new window will pop up and in here you've got a few options to choose from so I'm gonna say default actions because it will most probably look like that on your screen right now so default actions we're gonna go to your folder I created the Kiki and many photo actions folder if your folder is say John photography or whatever you have to select that folder and in there your action so I just have black and white actions in that folder currently so it just selects black and white if you have more select your black and white conversion or whatever uh, action you wanna run select that okay and now back to source source from folder okay yeah if you got it in a folder and if you got your JPEGs and RAWs selected or sourced in a folder and you want to physically pull them from there you have to select your folder in here now you would have to go to choose and so on to go choose your folder I still have a problem my images are still in, in the bridge so I will physically have to go either convert them now and bring them into a folder and so on which will be just a long way what I rather do I'm gonna hit cancel now I'll go back to bridge and in bridge I selected all these images in my folder now I want to run this preset on these eight images so I selected all of these images and we'll go to tools here at the top and go to Photoshop and batch there we go exactly the same way it will directly take you from bridge into Photoshop again and it will be sourced from bridge as you guys can see here sourcing from bridge yes that's exactly what I wanted and now I've still got a few options over here to choose override action open commands no don't want that include all subfolders if you want that you can tick that box I don't want that suppress file open options dialogs oh this means if you having raw images and you taking these raw images from bridge then it will first be opened in camera raw and then Photoshop so that will just be a super long process so tick this box this means that it will not go through it will go through camera raw but you don't need to do anything it will directly take it through camera raw into your Photoshop and you don't need to go sit with that small step okay so tick that box very important then suppress color profile warnings 
if you want to I don't really do that because I know my color is right and I had my presets right so everything will work nicely destination you can choose either from save and close or folder for this tutorial I will not say any day destination at the moment what I will do is hit cancel again and in my actions create a physically another action telling my actions to save and to close the window so set this up and leave it until there I'm going to say cancel now and I'm back in Photoshop. So at the moment, as you guys can see, original layer, my action, and in here I selected the action. So I'm going to open the action and go all the way down to the last step that we did, show current layer. So that's exactly where we stopped. And from here, what I want to do now is hit record again, start to recording. And like I said before, don't worry, time is not running out. So you can take your time and do it very carefully and slowly. Okay, so I started to record. What I will do now is go to, I, I finished with all my actions that I wanted to do and I firstly want to save it. So I'm going to go to file and go to save as. In save as you have to select your folder. I'm going to go to tutorial. In tutorial I want to say Kiki and Manny photo folder. I don't want to rename this because otherwise Photoshop does not know how to run each image and they will just be saved over each other. So you will just have one image at the end. So don't rename it right now. Maybe rename it at the end with bridge again. You can also do a batch rename or something in that way. I'm going to keep it to this name at the moment. Then my format, I wanted to save it as, you can either choose Photoshop or like a PSD. I want to have it a JPEG, so I'm going to select JPEG and down here go hit save. Now the window will pop up um, asking you about your image quality and stuff. And format options, I wanted to have a baseline and image option to full quality max. Yes, gonna hit say OK. And now that action is recorded. As you guys can see over here on the right hand side, it is physically under action saying save. And now last step that we want to do is we want to close this window. Why? Because if you open all these images, you will have 20 images open with 20 different windows and you will have to afterwards close each image which is another whole process and it just takes your time so close this say don't save because you saved it already and on the right hand side you can also see it has been closed and saved so stop your recording and you're all good to go so in your action we did the whole action as you can see all your conversions and stuff black and white conversions and last step was save and close so we're really good to go now make this a bit bigger I'm gonna minimize my whole action and everything will work now so I'm gonna go back to bridge in bridge select all my eight images go back to tools here at the top in Photoshop select batch and we are back in our whole process so if you have like I said before images located in a file you will have to go do the batch thing over Photoshop if you have it directly in bridge and they're still raw Go to raw, uh, go to tools, go to Photoshop and select batch. In here now, select your folder that we chose, select your action that you want, sourcing from bridge, that will work if you go through bridge. Then suppress file open options dialogs, that means go directly through the camera raw into Photoshop and being saved. Destination, please say none, and we're finally good to go, and we're gonna say OK. So now, currently, as you guys can see, Photoshop is working and these images are being pulled from Brit. Now you can see it, the whole um, action is running on there. We're doing a currently a black and white conversion and I'm just sitting here doing nothing, waiting for Photoshop to run it. Now it's being saved and closed and uh, hopefully the next image will pop in. Yes, there we are. Next image is in, action will be running right now and yeah, hopefully after that, there we can see it, action has been run on it and currently being saved and closed. So while Photoshop is doing this, I'm going to go back to my bridge, select here in the background on bridge, and there's my folder where my stuff is being processed into. So I'm going to double click on that folder, and yep, as you guys can see, there's my first image, second image, third and fourth, and the rest are still being processed. So this process really does work. And if you say you've got 100 images, you've got 50 images, whatever, you can do this batch process and it will just take your time, it will speed up your workflow and stuff will be just way, way quicker. So don't forget, in your action, you have to physically do another action, start recording over that again and save it and close the window. 
and yeah save that as your new action or integrate it into your action and you're good to go then you can do the whole batch thing and i hope this tutorial was helpful thank you guys for watching see you next week on another new technical wednesday rundown my name is manny and bye bye